Huh, what could that be? Let me guess. I don't have a clue. Oh. Oh, Halloween. That looks like Brandon. The house. Yeah, isn't that Brandon? Yeah, that's Brandon. Came trick or treating. a year. Peggy was a witch. She loved being a witch. I sewed the yarn to her cap. She loved that. <laughs> Where'd you guys go trick-or-treating at? There was nobody around that area. Because I think that's out in the North Valley. Or out in East Ledger yeah. Village. Huh? Eat Ledger Village, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ledger Village, yeah, yeah. Well. I can tell you that that's my eighth grade year. Oh, there's Andy. But I think that's when we moved over. We only lived in Ledger Village for, a month, for about a month or so. But we went trick or treat. Yeah. Yeah. See, apparently Jared got a new, sounds like he got a motorcycle. I think that's when they came to the house for Christmas and hadn't gotten very much and I got him a puff lump is that what they call it? As far as I know, he still has a puff lump. He'd had it for all those years. three months old when they got married then because this he he's still learning how to do stuff at Christmas time. It's going to be 65 this year. Well, he's what? Nine years older than a dad?
This was in Powell Stone? No. Uh, it's Allen. That's it, 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 Howard. It, it's Allen and Allen. Yeah. Howard, <coughs> Howard, Howard Road. Right. There's Suzanne. There's Jody. They had their, what Jody said, the 25th wedding anniversary, what, May 7th? And they were together ten and a half years before, so. They've had their ups and downs, but. Remember when she, we lived in, in on Howard Road, that one guy that worked at, at Kmart with her, had such a crush on her, came out and had Chili with us, helped Dad dig the trench or whatever, and Jody couldn't stand him. <laughs> I can't believe the guy gave him a meal. <laughs> well, we thought you were going with him. No. He was interested, she wasn't. like Logan and Ryan. And Brandon. Brandon? That, that, that's Brandon. Okay. There's Logan. That's what? That's Logan. That's an awful lot of Christmases. Oh, oh, oh. I'm at the point now I'm looking at what everybody's wearing instead. <laughs> Again, now, but that blue thing. 
I'm going to go check my closet and see if it's still hanging. It probably is. <laughs> oh. Usually whatever they ask for. <laughs> oh, that's that's it, Peggy, and that that is the cutest thing. Suzanne pulled off of her. <laughs> That's their house in that Paul. Mm -hmm. That looks like when he was baptized. He was baptized on his birthday. And he's one year old. That's what it was. Not Now, that jacket I still have in my closet had a matching blue checkered skirt. Bet you wouldn't fit me anymore. It was that velvet feeling. That is my brother, Leroy, and Helen, his wife. And looks like we must have pulled the couch out for him to sleep on. Yep. It's the most uncomfortable thing there was you get. <laughs> Who's older, you or him? He is. He's two years older. Not quite two years, by about two weeks. Um, My birthday's the 15th, it's yeah. the 27th of October, so. <coughs> Just about two years between us. So he'll be 82 this year. Cared about her. 
Who are all these kids? Oh, well, looks like Logan and Ryan and Brandon again. <clears throat> we usually see them almost every weekend. Oh, that looks like Andy there. We had them all in that little trailer. Ryan's always just looking at the camera. Somebody's getting ready to go fishing. That would be Bill. <coughs> I know one year for Christmas we gave him a new fishing pole. And tackle box and, looks like. Yeah, and all that. But I don't think this is a Christmas time. It just sure is. There's the fishing pole there. He just I know, but now yeah, about <coughs> Christmas time. He just had the tackle box out. Yeah, but I think they were going fishing that summer. Still on Howard Road. Let's see that shed there. That had that was where the new house was going to be over the top of it, and we were going to pull the trailer out. The garage was already there. We were going to build a house in behind and have that. Never got a chance. How come? Well, we, we moved here. Jody actually sold the house for us. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. <coughs> to the friends of the people behind. The people that run the, the house up in front. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> there's the, their friends were coming in. You from said down. Jody. Yeah, but Jody was the intermediate. Well, like, <coughs> we were living down here at the yeah. time. Yeah, Jody was doing well, we, we it. We sold it off with Plain yeah. Deed. Yeah. We built that garage, poured all the cement. Hung those tresses. Hmm? Hung those tresses. Yeah. What? Trusses. Tresses. My tresses. Oh. Yeah. And I know Dad and I did all the cement work because he's like, you mix it all in there. Then he'd come with the wheelbarrow and get into the road and I was like, what do we do? One whole day at a time? Yeah. And it's probably good enough up there. It's probably still standing without a crack. Cement down here doesn't do very good. Hi, Gary. And he turned red. I didn't realize we got together that much with, with Andy and, and 
talent kid. Oh, that's Alan and, and um, Carrie. His first wife. And we're still in the trailer. Waste of money Christmases were. <laughs> Yeah. I think she was doing her getting ready to go on with life. You know, everybody thinks they have to have everything before they get married. Now that's a cute teddy bear. Whose was that? Mm -hmm. There's another sunset. Oh, what a glorious sunset. And good night, everybody. Don't remember what that's for. Probably another eclipse. Probably. <laughs> Did you watch the one a couple of weeks ago? I I kept getting up and looking up because it was over that way, and it's like that looks partial of a moon, but it, it you could tell it was wasn't. Nice looking grass. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty. Sit out there every day. I'm looking at how nice that fence looks. I know. It was hard to clean around too, but look at that nice grass. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Only two times we ever put up a basketball hoop, and within three months afterwards we moved. That's why there ain't one here. <laughs> if we were put one up, it'd probably be a sign we're both dead. <laughs> well, we moved, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I put one over your grave. <laughs> dribble, dribble, dribble. Who's dribbling on my grave? I'm not going to have a grave. I'm going to be burnt. Okay, who's Bob? Who's Dick? Huh? Who's Bob? Who's Tickle? They got the shirts on. Uh, this little one is Ryan and next. Mr. Bump is Logan. Okay, Logan. And Mikey was just born. Huh? And Mikey was just born. Oh. Yep. Yeah, that's Mike. 
Yeah, because remember I was teaching Sunday school and it was a Jew that brought this little kid in. And that's like, oh, I'm too busy getting rid of it. It didn't even make me feel guilty that I wouldn't even recognize my old grandbaby. Send one to Alan, he probably will see it. I doubt that. <laughs> Do something. Do something. 